Chops, what's going on, YouTube? I know you can't even answer me, but anyway, you gotta say good morning. Back home in North Carolina, and uh, I'm showing you these seats. It's because these are the seats out of Grey Goose, and I'm gonna fan the camera over to Grey Goose. I had to take my seats out. I had to take the carpet out because I got in Grey Goose to drive it last night and it smelled mildew. So I'm making this video to tell you guys, change your gaskets on your doors because when I got in Grey Goose, I smelled water and I felt my carpet and my carpet was dry. But when I felt the back floor pans, it was like a swimming pool in this motherfucker. I'm talking about shit. If I, it was a swimming pool, and only reason what made me look too, I smelled it. Plus, I seen water on the on the uh, ground underneath, and I didn't feel my front. Like I said, I didn't feel my front foot carpet was dry, but my back carpet was like like a water bed. So I had to pull the carpet out, pull the seats out. Pull the carpet out. Carpet ruined. I mean, it was it's ruined. I'm not putting that back in. And um, it started to rust. So it tells me the majority of the rust is on the passenger side. So that that uh window that window uh molding like this one is ruined here. So not window molding, but door 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 rubber seal is bad. Or one of them is bad. Unless my windshield. Well, my windshield wasn't, it's not leaking because my front um, uh, floor pan is not, it's not wet, wasn't wet. So it has to be one of these door seals. So just making this video to tell you guys, I, I heard it on somebody else's video. Whenever you get your car painted, if they don't change your door seals or your door rubber, it's a cheap ass paint job. Well, I paid, you know, $2,500 for this paint job, but it's on me. To replace these parts and I didn't do it and this one right here got worse over time with me getting in and out but here's a testament to you need to change your door seals and window seals also on these cars man good thing I caught this in time or I'm starting to rust over there so I mean I, it's just a little surface rust but you know in in the carpet is ruined but I already got another carpet because I was gonna go black in here so I got a black carpet, but now I got to sit here and let this air out and uh, and, and figure out where the water's coming in at. Well, I, I think it's most likely the, the, the door, the door uh, molding uh, rubber. Again, that, I mean, look at the water running from that carpet. I mean, it was soaked. Of course, I haven't drove, haven't driven my car. Shoot, it's been quite a while. I mean, my car been sitting a while. Probably look, they even got a flat tire. So I'm gonna pump that up today. But uh I, I haven't driven the car. Probably I just renewed my tags and my tags are almost about to I renewed my tags um in November and I know I didn't drive it during the winter and maybe drove it a couple times during the summer. So my car been sitting quite a while. So um but just just to check check your carpet, you know, change your check change your uh your door uh rubber get look at that get new ones on there man it, it is well worth it because i'd rather spend you know a couple hundred dollars on door door molding and door seals and then instead of paying you know seven eight nine hundred dollars for a fucking floor pan if you plan on keeping your car but that 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 is sad on me i screwed up you know i should have changed them things you know every last one of them and I didn't do it, but anyway, just just letting, just making a video, just uh, throwing some jewels out there. Change your shit, man. Or you, you know, and if you're not sure you're leaking, check your carpet. I mean, I wouldn't have never known. I got that smell in here, and then I seen water on the ground underneath. You know, so, but uh, there it is, folks. The little jewel for you. Check your shit. I got that uh. 
I don't know. I heard I heard that charcoal will take the moisture out. So I put a bag of charcoal. I don't know how true it is. I'm gonna try it. Cause I'm not going I'm not putting the other carpet back in right now. I'm gonna dry it up with a I had to use my shop vac, shop vac to get the water out. So now I'm gonna take a little towel and dry most of the other water up. And I'm gonna leave it shut up like this. Just in case it's well, I know it's going water gonna get in there. Some more water gonna get in there. Um, because I don't have the door seals and door molding yet or door rubber yet. So I'm gonna have to order it today. But um so I'll leave that charcoal bag in here just to uh to get the moisture out of the air. But guys, check your shit. Check your shit. Even though if you you know your shit is mint, you better look at them door molding, door rubber, whatever you call this shit, and replace it, man. For you know, it fucks up your shit. Alright, YouTube. Chops out.